Hi guys! So last week we introduced some issues that are often seen in our chosen career fields and I brought to your attention some negative effects of globalization such as the exploitation of the worker, exploitation of the child, as well as the increase in poverty levels that are often seen in developing countries that are trading and are competing in the global market. Now. If you could take one second to think back to the last time you read a label or a tag on any article of clothing or anything for that matter and think of where it was manufactured. Chances are it was probably from a foreign country. Why? Easy. Cost of labor is much, much cheaper in developing countries. Why wouldn't these corporations want to send their manufacturing over to I don't know, China, where, according to Professor Polakoff from Bloomfield College, they can actually pay their employees as little as a dollar a day. So these corporations are benefiting from the lack of regulations and lack of enforcement in these countries looking to maximize their profits. Now let's keep using Nike as an example. In August of 1992, Jeffrey Ballinger of Harper's Magazine actually exposed Nike of exploitation when they interviewed an Indonesian worker who was employed by a Nike subcontractor making 14 cents an hour. 14 cents an hour does not support a family. 14 cents an hour does not support an individual person. So oftentimes this is when children are then forced to quit their education and are forced to go work because they need to make ends meet at home. According to UNICEF, about 25% of the world's children live in abject poverty. So back to the Nike situation, the way they resolved that after many more accusations and loss of revenue was that they increased their minimum wage, they increased their monitoring, as well as all of their factories and their supply chain now meet the set standards that you can actually to this day find on their website. And in these ways, regulations and standards can help decrease child labor as well as the exploitation of the worker in general. Certain countries like El Salvador, Costa Rica already have laws prohibiting child labor, but oftentimes they're not enforced, whether it be from pressure from internal interests or whether it be international interests. According to Joseph Stiglitz, he was an ex-chief economist and VP of the World Bank. He said there's been an increase in the amount of people living in poverty as well as increase in the gap of people separating the wealthy from the poor. So in an attempt to decrease or end slave wage, the illegal treatment of employees, and in turn lower poverty levels, there should be international regulations and standards that must be met if corporations are aiming to trade in the global market. If these regulations are not met, then they should be prohibited from the global economy until the regulations have been met. Thank you.